Hello, everybody, and welcome back and to another part of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. It was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Alistair is the king. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what cost? Wow, they're giving us a tip now that we just beat the game. Yeah, wow. Well, anyways, guys, I can't believe it. This is done. Let's see what else happened at the end of Ferelden. Or at the end of the game, not the end of Ferelden. That would have been terrible. Terrible ending. But, Morrigan, obviously, left us. You know what? I'm not going to go over what happened. We're going to see what happened. My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden. The first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Gadahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. Let's see. Only ask that my people be aided against the Darkspawn. Oh, absolutely. The dwarves face the Darkspawn every day, don't they? Ferelden hereby offers its full military support to the new king of Orzammar, and will aid in reclaiming the Deep Roads. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? I think you'll need my help. Well, I didn't want to come right out and say it. But I'm relieved you'll be here. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. And... Here we are. Alistair is king. Our group... Everyone's here. There's Gorham. Let's ah, talk to him. Glorious! You've really showed these humans something. Took down the Blight practically single-handed. It's good of you to come, Gorham. I'm not just here to witness the whole human spectacle, however. The Assembly contacted me with a message for you. I guess they figured once a manservant, always a manservant. Ah, I don't mind. Thing is, we've both been given leave to return to Orzammar. Both of us? Apparently. I went down with you. Seems I rise back up with you, too. Seems Harrimont is mighty grateful. He's declared you the heir to House Idukan. Full rights restored for us both. Not only that, but the Assembly is considering naming you a Paragon. A 
Paragon in our time. Wow. Paragon, that's exciting news. Not a bad change from an exiled murderer, no? Congratulations, my friend. You think you might head back home? To put House Iduken in order, if nothing else. We'll see. I have things to do first. But you do it, Gorm. I'm not going back. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Well, I'll go back to put the house in order, at least. Should you ever change your mind. At any rate, I'll let the humans get back to their dwarf worship. <laughs> Still makes me smile to hear them talk. So let's see, anyone else we want to talk to here? Let's see what Liliana has to say. So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. But does the hero get his girl? I don't know. I haven't read that part yet, have I? You'll have to tell me. If she's smart, smart she'll stick around. Oh, is that how it is? <laughs> you know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. Congratulations. Sounds like fun. Not really, I expect but to leave a month from now with a small army of Templars and priests. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. Sweet. See anyone else? There's Wen and Zevran. Nah, and Ogren. Oh boy, Ogren. He's by the beer, of course. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. The, the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. Go figure. Enjoying yourself already, I see. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're staying here in Denerim? Unless my hearing's bad, which happens. That's the plan. I'm thinking I'll stick around myself, <laughs> at least for a bit. I got offered a spot in the human army, <laughs> and not as a mascot either. You know, these humans aren't bad for all their long legs. You done adventuring? Maybe, for a bit. Talk to me in a year or so when I'm bored, and maybe I'll think differently. Ah, oh, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I <laughs> need to prove him wrong. Oh, that's... Don't ever change. <laughs> Who, me? It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. Okay, let's tell the guard we're ready. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. 